From his very earliest days in uh, civilian life, my dad was very interested in public service. In Sussex County, in the early 1950s, they had built the William C. Jason High School, which was, oddly enough from my recollection, was probably by far the nicest high school facility in the whole county. It was being phased out because of the, uh, finally, the state finally getting around to integration. And they established a state commission to study Jason and figure out what should be done about it and made my father the chairman of the commission. And he, of course, knew exactly what should be done with Jason, which was to establish a community college uh, there. He made his report and it was on, sort of on the heels of that that the legislature took action in 1966 to establish the community college system. At that time, people thought of Delaware Tech as being a calling, like going into the ministry. It was gonna change the face of the state. It was gonna provide opportunity for people who'd never had opportunity before. Uh, sometime in those early years, the college's slogan was a job for every graduate and a graduate for every job. And I think that was really what they were thinking at the time. How can we give people the opportunity to have meaningful work in their lives? One of the early presidents of the college, Paul Weatherly, had been uh, involved in the, the uh, technical and community college system in the state of South Carolina. And he brought with him a number of people that who had, he'd worked with down there, among whom was Jack Owens, who became the great mainstay of the Georgetown campus, which is now named for him. I was a high school uh, director of guidance at John M. Clayton High School, and they, Paul Weatherly hired me in March of 1967, and I was the first employee of the Southern campus. We opened with some 250 to 300 students, and uh, the governor and the board at that time wanted that word technical to be, always be a part of the college. It was called the University of Sussex County. That's what Dell Tech meant to Sussex County, to the children, because it was an opportunity for them to come forward, and go to Dell Tech, you'd have the, the two-year uh, degree, and, and from there, of course, options in Delaware State, the University of Delaware, and elsewhere. It was the gateway to uh, educational success. I joined Delaware Tech in 1969. I had just finished my graduate program, and someone had suggested that there was this new concept called a community college and they desperately needed math people and science people and engineering. There was a recognition at the time that Delaware really needed what the community college had to offer. And there's nothing more rewarding than seeing a student come in floundering, not knowing what they're uh, what they want, what they're going to do, what have you, and see them develop into a person who is ready to go out and jump into the job market. I was teaching at a technical school when they decide to mandate that all practical nursing programs in the state should be offered through Delaware Tech. So in July 1971, another instructor and I came to start the program with 16 students at that time, there was only the Jason building. We were in an area that was like uh, automobile lab, and we had sliding doors, and it would get hot and we'd open them, so we'd be teaching with birds flying around. And um, the program expanded to the point that now there are over 20 instructors and hundreds of students. We were like a family in that everybody played a role in student success. Initially, we had uh, a number of counselors who were hired. The counselors were representative of uh, minority groups and also women. So students coming into the college knew that they had a support person when they entered the door because they saw people who looked an awful lot like themselves. Business and industry, uh, the le state legislators, uh, the military, all of these people were our partners they were sending people to Delaware Tech. The students who came to us, many of them already had a lot of skills and ability on hold, and we needed to push them and propel them to the future. Every company needs and has to have 
access to a high quality workforce in order for their business to thrive and grow. So our job is to convey to them that we're nimble, we're creative, we can turn on a dime, uh, we have existing programs that can provide a high quality workforce, but if you need something that's customized and individualized, we can do that too, and we have done it, and we continue to do it. It has uh, benefited us greatly with our students and how we have been able to put students into the program, see them not only uh, leave our high schools and be ready for uh, their career if they choose, but also have the experience of a college environment where they can continue their education and even get their uh, two-year degree. When I think about Delaware Tech, I think about access and I think about opportunity and hope and the excellent education that we provide. We have an incredible nursing program in that we connect with our students very early. And it begins from the minute that they walk into our front door until they graduate. We're very, very proud of the nursing program, the allied health programs, and uh, how they really support the system in Delaware to provide high quality care. Because we collaborate from the beginning, we get a graduate who's high quality, who understands the needs of our health system and can hit the ground running. What's wonderful is that we can sit down with them as partners and think through uh, our needs together and work collaboratively to create solutions. People uh, in the state um, uh, are only now uh, beginning to understand how important um, the aviation industry is. And inside those airports uh, in the state are some 12 or 13,000 people uh, working in very well-paid, uh, highly technical uh, positions. You might say there's a feeding frenzy among the uh, employers in the region to get the uh, graduates of uh, Dell Tech. When I'm out talking to businesses and asking them what we can do to facilitate their success, they keep coming back to the same issue. They need people with the right skills. Delaware Tech is nimble. They figure it out. And when we sit them down with the employers, they have a great dialogue. It doesn't take them very long to put together a program that makes sense for that employer. Students can either go directly in the workforce, or if they want to continue their education, they can go and receive a four-year degree. And we've been able to partner with them in creating a, a variety of number of connected degree programs that will align appropriately uh, with their workforce. I think that the quality of people that uh, teach at Dell Tech are just top notch. Um, they take a, a true interest in the students that are attending Dell Tech. Your classes are smaller. And I really, for me personally, needed a smaller class. As a criminal justice major, um, I was able to, in one particular instance, I had written a term paper and learned so much about the world of rape crisis uh, that that actually allowed me the opportunity to join an organization where I did volunteer work for four years through contact. And, um, and it was really just because of the experience that Dell Tech offered and in providing that through the curriculum. We maintain a close contact with our advisors, uh, not just like, like uh, once or twice a year, the advisory board meeting, but uh, regularly I will ask them for help. And they have an ongoing dialogue with our faculty and they communicate to them what their graduates need to know and what they need to be able to do. And uh, of course that gives us the uh, challenge and opportunity to keep learning. Dell Tech's been very responsive to the needs of the industry. They've sat at the table with employers, heard that there is a real need for software developers, especially Java developers, and then responded with a Java programming academy. They also offer individual courses at a reasonable price so current employees can continue to enhance their skill sets and advance their career opportunities. They're so sensitive to the needs of our military men and women and literally bend over backwards to accommodate us. In fact, Delaware Tech it has classes that go on in the evenings at our Air National Guard base on the Newcastle County Airport. They make it easy, they make it affordable, and they make it friendly. Some of our folks, while deployed overseas, Afghanistan, Iraq, wherever, have been able to take classes online. So that's been phenomenal. The courses in the academic program here are every bit as rigorous, if not more, than the university programs, and they have to be. 
you've got a quality degree uh, at low or no cost and uh, you know something that you can now take out and market into the world. Seed was one of the things that we had talked about and Harris McDowell and Nancy Wagner had put bills in for like four or five years and couldn't get anything passed. Couldn't even get it out of committee. So when I became governor, I thought that's one thing I'm gonna do. So the real, real promise of this is to be able to motivate more kids to achieve. You've gotta plant the seed and let it grow. And I said it, you know, two or three times in speeches. And so Mark said we should say something about planting seeds. Well, that's when they found seed which was student excellence equals degrees. I was the first one, um, first of three kids to actually go to college and graduate. Um, even though that people might say that it was just associates, I knew what it was for me and it was beneficial for me. And I received my bachelor's in marketing a year and a half after I graduated. And so you can go to Dell Tech, you can go to college, we'll pay the first two years. It's not a promise, it's the law and I'm always pushing people to go towards their dream, um, go for what they love, whether if it's education or if it's a career as well. The key word that Dell Tech's been able to do is adjust, adapt, and overcome. And that overcome means helping young people, or in some cases seniors, uh, get to the next stage. It's been an unbelievable success. Most important, it's been an unbelievable safety net for students who probably never thought they could go to college. There's many people here who are in their 20s or 30s, or I even met one woman who was, I think, in her late 50s or early 60s, and they're going back to school, trying to really reinvent themselves. The whole family dynamic can change when you know, a parent goes back to school and um, becomes a role model for their kids and their kids see you know, the studying and uh, just the focus. And my fondest hope was that I could instill in, in the students that when they are financially able to do so in the future, that they help the next generation. Sitting in the, at the desk that I did with the presidents and seeing the letters and the telephone calls that came in from students, from graduates, from uh, parents, from grandparents, thanking the president, thanking Delaware Tech for saving their child's life, saving their life, you know, literally and metaphorically, um, because we had many people who didn't think they had any more chances at anything. And when, when they walk through those front doors, they see us as a way to get their life back on track. Um, it's a, there's a source of hope for them. And um, the, the best kept secret, I guess, are all those stories out there. And I think that's the essence of the college. And it's one of those things that uh, will never change, I do not believe, uh, over the years, over the next 50 years. Dell Tech's been able to fill the traditional sort of classic community college needs and as new technologies and new needs have arisen the college has been able to move with really lightning speed uh, to fill uh, those kinds of needs and that's really unique uh, for a college. We are expanding, we are growing, we are a known commodity in the community but we still don't rest on that. We still have to go out there and be on the cutting edge for our stakeholders so that they can have the employees that they want, the students can find jobs when they graduate and continue to help the state of Delaware prosper. I fully expect Dell Tech to be in on the ground floor of finding out what the next big thing is and helping the state to achieve it. I think what's going to be important for Delaware Tech in the future is to continue to be a great listener as an institution because the training that's provided is only as important as what we're hearing from employers about the skills that are needed today and the skills that'll be needed in the future.